hear what she says. The chain of heaven. Sorry, what Everybody have a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, are you guys filming as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're making a documentary for the day. Oh, who are you making the documentary for? Water Pro Life. Oh, okay. Water Pro Life. Yeah. And where would that be shown? Forever. We put it up. <laughs> YouTube, I'd say. If you follow Water Pro Life YouTube channel, okay. you find everything you need to Are we know. going to be on that? Of course. What? Yeah. yeah, whenever we film that. You film us. We film you. It's, that's, that's how it works. works. That's how it works, yeah. It's wonderful to have you Different, different uh, attitude. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and you see the film that we're going to show you Oh yeah, maybe that's one of those guys over there, I don't even know are you guys coming from a religious perspective, would you say? That's yes, I mean, life is, is made, you know, we were here for this life. The whole ancestors were here. And as Catholics, we stand up for life. Within this debate, maybe not everybody is religious or Catholic, and maybe they feel frustrated that those values are being imposed on them. <clears throat> this is not a debate. It's not a debate. I mean, it's been created as a debate. I mean, what's going on is intrinsic. In the That's the truth. Why should there be a debate about that? How precious you are, and the camera person. That's not a debate when you're up here debating. You've been here. You have a right to it. That's what's it called. How precious you are, you know. And we get this from our faith. And once we go away from that, our faith, we become fragmented very much. So. It's a bit like the orange shrink, you know. Do you bring this on every? No, I just, I just need to. Oh, right. I'm a <laughs> That's your lunch. <laughs> I'll be hydrated. <laughs> well, we, we have been speaking to, to quite a few women who have sought abortions for whatever reason, reason it was, and they always come back. It's just it's just that idea that they have a choice uh, as to what happens to their body. Yeah. What, what would you say to that? The choice of their body. I mean, our bodies are not our own. Whose are they? Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Chris, Mark, we... And when we say this is our bodies, we are, we are alive. We are being sold but not, alive. Not, not everybody might agree with that, I guess, well, if, if they are not religious. I'm an adult, and I mean, I'm only telling the truth. If I was talking to children, you could never see a child saying, Mama, I have a pain, this is my body, I want to speak to Yeah. Well, t t tell, I mean, tell me, do, do you see, do you think that there should be abortion in absolutely no circumstances or do you feel like there may be in certain cases like where the, the baby not, might not survive outside the womb or rape? Ireland is the safest country in the world for every woman and every How can you say that? We it's already know already, that sorry, like Savita died. It's already have done. Died. You can pick out an instance but let's look at history. I mean <clears throat> we have one of the best hospitals in, our, in the world. And, you know, the birth of children in this country, we have had one here in water called Airmaps, up at the top here, which was run by the medical mission in some area. <clears throat> but, you know, the whole, the whole thing of um, someone thinking about and <clears throat> saying, you know, um, there's something wrong with your child. I mean, it's between the doctors, know, the nurses, know, the well trained, um, a woman's physiology is perfect. I mean, you're, you're lost for words. Now. Well, I am lost for words because I think in, in cases like Savita, she did die. Because God she, wa soul, she yes. wasn't allowed to have an abortion when she asked for one. What would you say to that case? I make no comment. Why? I make no, no comment. But why? Can you, you don't have no, an answer no, I don't, to that I don't one. make no comment. I won't make any comment because of it. the whole thing. Personally, <coughs> it seems to be blown out of its all proportion. But she's dead. She, God rest her, she's problem. dead. But I'm, sh I'm sure many a mother, and we would not never document where a mother may have died on birth as well. But we know from our faith that in every in every hospital, a mother and child comes first. The cause of death was actually uh, sepsis. 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 Mm. Not. 
not as the result of not being able to. Well, we, we've, I've spoken to the medical expert for the coroner on that case, and he categorically says that she died because she wasn't given an abortion when she asked for one. So I don't think that's true. We're going to respect. It is true. There was three reports done on that, uh, three independent reports, and they all said like that it was medical negligence. So like, I mean, that's the problem. Like, I mean. They didn't deal with the, they didn't identify the sepsis properly and uh, they didn't uh, deal with the infection that was there Are and as a result. I do, so do, do you dispute that medical experts? No, well sure there's three independent reports. If you do your own research on it, like all you have to do is see that there's three independent medical reports that all say the same story. That it was nothing to do with uh, repeal of the eight. Like, even but do you accept if she had been... Do you accept that if she had been given an abortion when she asked for one, that she no. might be here today alive and reproducing? No. It, it wasn't anything to do with abortion. It was to do with um, medical negligence because they didn't identify the sepsis and they didn't treat it. Now, as a result, the baby might have been lost if they had treated the sepsis, but as a result, both of them died. So it was a medical negligence and there's three independent reports and all you have to do is do your research on that and that's it. Okay. Thank you guys.